Ho! Fuck your bitch, get a bag from it, then I never call her. Now she tripping, going crazy, nigga, tell her, let her bubble. OG, see me coming through, and they say, that's a bubble. That's a bubble. That's a nigga starting from the bottom, really in it. Hey, what's up, you guys? I just kind of had a thought while I was riding. You know, a lot of people, they always complain about how their bike's really slow, but what they don't realize is they're not really using that bike to their full potential. A real person on a motorcycle should be able to use their bike to its full potential. And the problem with having a 1000cc or 600cc is you can't do that, especially on the streets around here. The, the only reason you should really have a 1000cc motorcycle or 600cc motorcycle is for, let's say you are a MotoGP racer or some shit. And that guy wanted me to do a wheelie, so I'm gonna do one. Let's say you're like a MotoGP racer or something, and you're like some kind of badass that's gonna go to the track like every week, every day, and you're fast as shit, so you're gonna be able to have the ability to go out and use that bike to its full potential. And there's guys that go out on 200s even, or let's say a Ninja 250. They'll go out and race those things on the track and they'll beat 600s and 1000s all day. Now I mean, yeah, hell yeah, they're gonna beat you in a straightaway. But those little 250s, those people know how to use them to their full potential. So they get down real low, just full throttle everything, full throttle through the corners, they do everything so good. And they practice their technique over and over and over again until they learn okay it's time to get a bigger bike but they still get a smaller like they still get a small bike so they move up from the 250 to like a, a 500 or something and they don't need that extra power because they know that just having that extra little bit of oomph they'll be like okay we can get comfortable with this bike now see how great we can be on this and then they get really really good on that bike and then they move up to a full-size bike like a, a 600 or something let's let's say a r6 They'll move up to like an R6 and they'll be like, oh damn, this is a lot of power. So they'll try and master the R6 and they'll, they'll work really hard on trying to master it. And it's really hard, I would imagine, to master like an R6 or something because it's such a powerful motorcycle. I mean, a lot of people, they don't realize how powerful it is, but I mean, in Texas, I can't tell you a 600 is super powerful because there's freaking Harleys out there. They're 1700 cc's, but think about it this way. They only push out about 70 horsepower. Or something like that I mean like honestly and then you get a you get on a freaking Hayabusa pushes out a hundred and what 150 horsepower or something like that 180 I don't know I don't know the actual numbers on it but it, that's crazy I mean it's a 1300 it, it's smaller but why is it faster it's because the pistons are thinner the bikes way less and they're just higher compression motors so the big old Harleys the pistons are heavy they're really low compression, they just boom, 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 boom. Just go real slow and pump, so they don't pump out tons of horsepower. But the smaller, or the, uh, sorry, the thinner pistons, they push out more compression because they're faster, they're really fast. That's why they get that high sound, that high pitch sound, because it's moving really fast and it's just spinning really high RPMs. That's why it's reds per minute, uh, revolutions per motor something per minute. Revolutions of the motor per minute. So that's what it is. That's why you get the higher pitch sound. And then on Harleys, you get the blub, 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 blub. Because that's what's happening. It's going blub, 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 blub. That's what's happening. And on the sport bikes, you get blub, 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 Because it's going And it's going really fast. So you can't really keep up with it. Or it's going dun, 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 dun. And it's just such a fast motion that it's faster and makes more horsepower because of that. And now, I may be wrong. I may be completely wrong. I may not be talk knowing what I'm talking about. But this is my theory and how I know how bikes work just from me knowing how they work if that makes any sense and I, I have some pretty good knowledge I'm pretty mechanically inclined I understand how motors work and whatnot I mean I've taken them apart done stuff with them and shit I'm not, I may not be the best mechanic in the world but I'm still learning you know I'm still a kid and I'm still I really want to learn about stuff like that but I know that if you get a small bike and you ride that shit to its full potential you can ride any bike and be good at it. You're not going to be the best. I'm telling you that. But if you get a small bike, ride it to its full potential. It's until like you can't go any faster. You have consistent lap times, and you can't get them any higher. Go ahead, upgrade, and you'll be doing probably the same lap times. 
because you're not going to be used to that bike as much. But you'll have that same mindset that you're on a little bike and then you'll have that extra power in the straightaways. And then you'll end up mastering that. And it's just a really an amazing thing to me that to think about it. People go out, some kid is going to be like, all right, I want a Jixxer 600. I'm going to go 140 down the highway. I'm going to do all this shit. But they don't realize that they're actually a really shitty rider. You know how much skill it takes to go 140 miles an hour down the highway? That's all it takes, literally. You'll be there in 20 seconds. I mean, it's, it's that easy. You, you'll be there 20 seconds. But all it takes is this. To be able to lean the bike over and scrape pegs and do all this stuff, it takes a little bit more effort. To be able to do a U-turn, it's not that hard. But to be able to get your knee down in corners, be able to do all this shit that like you can't do going 140. I mean, you can't really do this shit going 140. So what's the point of you going 140, twisting your wrist? Yeah, you may have a thousand cc's underneath you, but what's the point of using it all if you don't know how to use it? Have you ever thought about that? I don't think you have because most people that get on a sport bike, they get it to go fast. They don't get it because they want to use it to its full potential. And by full potential, I don't mean topping it out top speed. I mean using it for going around corners fast, going around corners cornering right, going, having the right technique and whatnot. And it really bothers me whenever someone will go out and say that the Ninja 250s and whatnot are slow. Yeah, they're slow. I mean, everyone knows that. You don't need to keep saying it's slow because it is. But a fast rider on a slow bike can be fast. And a slow rider on a fast bike can be slow. So, I mean, that's how it works. At the end of the day, a 250cc can beat a 1000. It's as simple as that. And you can't go complain to me and telling me, oh, well, my, my Jixxer 1 million goes 700 on the highway and your little Ninja 250 goes 40. Well, I mean, yeah, let's go to a fucking track and race me in corners. Let's see what happens then. I mean, that's just how it works. I'm on this 200 not because not because I really wanted it, but because I can't go. I'm, I can't. My, the law doesn't let me go any higher right now. I gotta wait a year. And then I can get it on any freaking bike I want. I can, get, I can get on a 1700, whatever. Now, honestly, I really do like those soft tail heritage, the heritage soft tail Harleys, but who knows? I can get a cruiser, I can get a sport bike, I can get whatever I want as long as I know how to use it. And I want you guys to know that if you don't know how to use the bike, don't get it.